Hey guys, so today you and I are going to talk about growth and if you know whether or not you're going to continue growing as a software developer. So let's get into it. So this question, or the question in question was posted as a reply to one of the videos that I made about that working alone as a junior developer is a very bad thing for you because if you're working completely alone odds are that you're not going to develop your skills as much as if you have peers ideally peers who are more senior than you who can help you out and uh, give you guidance so the person writes interesting topic Frederick thank you I work in a company under the guidance of an expert of the arc, uh, uh, an expert of the architect level. He is an architect, in fact. Well, if he's at the architect level, I I would hope that he is an architect, because that otherwise that would kind of suck. I would describe my level as a, a middle developer. We do meetings twice a week to discuss problems and plans. He provides guidance and explains stuff. He doesn't do much of my code reviews, but I mean. A, a good personal relationship with the company's uh, company's code quality control guard and he does the review for me whenever I ask you have a dedicated code reviewer that must suck so bad the poor man or woman this is indeed a luxury because uh, he simply can't do it for everyone due to a large amount of employees. I also take part in a number of weekly or bi-weekly discussions on a number of technical topics where I can make a proposal or give feedback on the proposal of the proposals of the others. Now here is my question. Right. Is this way of working really harmful to my career? Should I in the nearest future take action to switch to a scrum like way of working? Or is it reasonable viable f this a reasonable viable way so that I can grow, grow I can grow further? Well, uh, I'm going to be honest with you. I'm having a little bit of a problem like completely understand exactly what's going on here, but the gist of it as I understood it is that you have a you have a workflow where it doesn't really say if you're working alone here or not so I don't really know if that's a factor because if you have co-workers who is giving you the, and they are giving you feedback on your coding skills and so forth and then on top of that you have an architect level developer who is helping you out with other things I don't actually know what he's doing I mean proposals from different teams or as you're mentioning or others within the company it can mean a lot of things I don't feel like I have a clear picture of what's going on in your company but I wrote back to this to this person and I said that I think that we need to think a little bit about where you are in your career and I think that considering that this was posted on a video which was related to junior level developers working alone I think that's the thing that we need to touch on you see the development of you as a software developer is going and what you need to continue growing as a software developer is going to vary depending on who you are and where you are in your career now when I say that it's bad for you to work alone that is in generally as in general a good rule of thumb it's a real even for a senior developer with 30 35 years of experience this is a very bad thing you will make mistakes it's no discussion it's gonna happen but the need a junior developer has for peers and the value of having peers is much 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 greater than if let's say a senior developer is going to have peers the the role the peers or the co-workers are playing in the life of the developer and the importance of that role is going to vary much depending on where you are so as you can imagine if you're a junior developer and you don't really know what you're doing and you need a lot of uh, questions answered and a lot of feedback and ideally some guidance well that's what you're going to have your peers for but they're also going to help you with your code reviews and fix it, helping you identify mistakes or better ways of working. As a, if you're a super senior developer, having coworkers is most likely just going to be 
something that feels kind of nice to have because you can do all the you can do the work yourself like you have already progressed to the point where you are master most likely of your craft and there then it's really only down to having someone to talk to and shoot ideas with or maybe having someone to identify when you made a mistake or you thought about something in a bad way or something like that that's what the see like the senior level developers are going to use their coworkers for most of the time and for you as a as you describe yourself as a mid-level developer i would say that you have to answer that question for yourself do you feel that you are progressing or do you feel that the way that you are working right now is giving you the feedback cycle you actually feel uh, you need and that you're actually progressing from uh, towards something now this may be very hard for you to gra uh, to well to uh, it might be hard for you to get a sensation of if you're actually getting better at the thing that you're doing. What I like to do is to do a very simple thing and that is to look at where I was a while back and see have I moved forward and if I can say that yes I have been moving forward I actually feel and usually the way I measure how much I move forward is my confidence level and that's a very good indicator of how well you're progressing your career or like how much you're growing are you getting more confident in your skills regardless of what those skills are the best part is when you get to a point where stuff is boring to do because if stuff is boring to do then your confidence is like at the highest level at this point because now there's no unknowns there's nothing unfulfilling about the work anymore and that's that kind of sucks in a way as well but now you have the opportunity to start looking at another mountain or another skill like a, I like to say that you cl you're climbing mountains another skill aka another mountain that you're now going to start climbing that's how you continue working and becoming better and feeling fulfilled or you can just stay where you are and just kind of ride it out until you die that's another way so what I want you to take away from this is that I would say that you have to answer for yourself if you feel that you're moving in the right direction and you should measure that by your skill levels like have you uh, do you feel that you're mastering the skills that you're that you're using do you feel like this person who's giving you insight is this person actually giving you feedback that is meaningful to you and that you can then adopt and actually add, add into your own workflow that's how you measure whether or not you're progressing. It doesn't really matter if you're working alone, if these things are happening. The reason why I say that this is a bad thing is because if you're working completely alone, one part is that your code is going to have more bugs, just flat. There's no way for you as a, sing as a solo developer to uh, out-code if you're the same person with the peer. It's uh, like having a review, like it's the same thing with authors and all kinds of stuff. Like working completely in isolation is usually a bad, bad thing when you're dealing with a creative field where there is a chance that you will make a mistake. But that is, it's not, it's not a deal breaker. You can still evolve. And as I said, it depends on where you are in your career. You're very likely to need a lot more help and grow a lot more as a junior developer working with peers than you are as a senior. So a senior might be able to work completely in isolation and still probably learn from just doing their own learning and so forth. And the same thing goes for the junior. It's just that the junior is going to need more help. Finally, I would say that your question regarding like should you take action and start working in a scrum way of working? I, I don't know. what Scrum has nothing to do with how you progress as an individual. And I think that what I want to leave with here is that no, this way of working is not necessarily harmful to you. What is harmful is if you get to a point where you feel as if you're not increasing your confidence level in the work that you do. Because if you have a feedback cycle and you can trust that you actually are working in the way that most of the industry is working, so you're not working in some really isolated, weird way, and you're getting more confident in your skills, then you are progressing. When you get to the point where you're bored, that's when you start thinking about going to the next thing, or possibly if you feel like you're just not getting anywhere. You feel like you're just treading water and you're never going anywhere. These are the situations where you start, should start looking at another opportunity. Yeah, if you, based on what you have been described. Have a great day.